Just about a week ago, in Hypixel Skyblock, the new combat update was released, as well as, a few days ago, the Tier 5 Revenant Horror. These two updates have majorly affected Slayers, and many of you might want to get back into Slayers. So in today's guide, we'll be going over how to get to Tier 7 in Revenant Horror because you need it to do the Tier 5 Revenant Horror Slayer. There's not much else to say, so without further ado, let's get straight into it. Many of you may be wondering, what should I be leveling? Right here, as you can see, I'm doing a Revenant Horror 4, and this is probably obvious to most of you, but a few maybe noobs or ones that aren't familiar with the game so much might think, oh, I should grind, I should grind Revenant Tier 5 since that might give more XP. However, you do need Tier 7 and Zombie Slayer to even do the Tier 5, so that's not going to work. The next one down is the Tier 4, which gives the most XP per boss kill, so it's definitely the one we want to grind. Well, you may be asking, how do I grind it? What armor should I get? We're going to go over this right now. For me, I would definitely recommend Shadow Assassin, like you would get in dungeons. Mine is Dungeon Eyes, but it obviously doesn't have to be because this is Slayer, not Dungeons. Uh, you can do with worse, like a possibly a Terra Helm and a Strong Armor, but I definitely recommend something like this to uh, speed up the process. As well for a sword, I use a Livid Dagger. The 100% attack speed is very nice, and you got the crit damage as well. You can put really any Reforge, either Withered or Fabled, doesn't really matter. And the Reforge on your armor should probably be Ancient. I have one on Necrotic, I don't know why. And you can get away with something like an Aspect of the End if you have full Strong Armor, because it gives um, improvements to the Aspect of the End, but it's probably better to have this and the Shadow Assassin. There's also some other gear that might help you out that you might not know about. For example, pets. If we look at pets here, I've got a weather skeleton pet and a wolf pet. I use these two mainly for slayers. Obviously, I use wolf for the combat XP, and then when the boss spawns, I use the weather skeleton pet. The way I switch to these is using auto pet, and I put on boss spawn revenant horse, switch to weather skeleton, and when you start a slayer quest, equip wolf so it's basically automatic so it's a really great uh, feature if you have the money to spend on it i definitely recommend it and to get auto pet and yeah it's it's really amazing so you don't have to go through your menu and then do it and it might come back on you you know so it's definitely really good so now that you've got the gear to do them what are some tips and tricks to help you well Obviously, you're probably going to want Slayer level 6 in all Slayers. This is for a very specific reason. If you go to the bat phone, the open menu is a thing called Auto Slayer. If you have enough coins in your purse, um, and you have it on, then it automatically starts the last Slayer you did. It's very nice so you don't have to call Maddox every single time you want to do a Slayer. Uh, another thing is you want to at least be able to one-shot Revenant or Crypt Ghouls without charging up your bow all the way. doesn't matter what bow. Usually the more arrows, the better. Like, Hurricane Bow might be better, but I just use Runins. It doesn't really matter. And, uh, yeah, you don't want to have to do this every single time you want to kill one of them. So if you have to use Magma Bow, then so be it. Alright, we're about to spawn a boss here. Go ahead and kill a few more revs or a few more crypt ghouls and right there we spawn it so i recommend placing down your um flux orb doesn't matter which it is i recommend mana flux since you're uh slayer six hopefully and oh, <laughs> and um in wolf so you'll have the recipe to this so you can see auto pet equip my wolf and it automatically started i've got like about a hundred slayers left so then you just keep on killing them, and you keep going, and it's really easy. It's a nice grind. I definitely enjoy grinding Slayers, and it doesn't take too long. It'll take about, if you're Slayer level 6, around 6.7 mil coins, but um, you can kind of generate that from minions while you're doing it. And you see these mini bosses right here, you always want to kill them. No matter which one they are, that's like the level 2 one, basically. Let's see if I can spawn a level 1 mini boss. It has about 90k health, I believe, because I one-tap it. 
Oh, yep, here it is. Two of them, Revenant Champions. I wand tap it. And here is one of my other tips. If you spawned a boss already, try to not kill the mini boss. This is because once you start your next one, you can get the mini boss and it'll give you combat XP. Like right here, I'm at zero. And now I'm already at, let's try and update it, 22. About 20. So if I would have killed it before, I'd still be at like 4. So it's a great tip, I would say, that I've learned from doing my slayers. Is always wait. If you've uh, summoned the boss, always wait to kill the mini boss if you can. Sometimes you can't. Oh, I just got a whole lot of mini bosses. Sometimes you can't, but um, if you can, then definitely do. And you should really prioritize it with the the tier 2 ones. Oh, I got, got like 3 of these. Um, uh, the tier 2 ones, since they give you a whole bunch of combat XP, they give you like way, way, uh, more than the tier 1 ones, as I call them. But you definitely should save those, because that will definitely speed up your slayers. I've completed a slayer in about 10 seconds because of that. I saved two mini bosses, and I absolutely just destroyed the slayer. Then I summoned it again within 10 seconds, so it's definitely very useful. Oh, we got a runic. Doesn't really matter, though. Um, so we're going to kill these golden ghouls. Another tip, don't waste your time on the golden ghouls if it takes you, like, five shots to kill them. Because they only give you, I think, 100 combat XP. And in that time, you can be killing crypt ghouls, which give 70. You can kill more within five shots than just 100 combat XP. So if you can't one-shot them, don't waste your time on charging your bow fully back quite a few times and doing all that. Um, of course, you can... You should probably have a booster cookie active, sell your stuff while you're fighting, as well as your, uh, your sacks. There you go, 190, yeah, that's pretty good, back set. And, yeah, you just kind of kill these crypt ghouls. Uh, I'm assuming you know where this is. <laughs> you just look on the skyblock map if you don't. Definitely always look out for the mini-bosses, they speed this thing up way, way more. Uh, if you're going to use a flower of truth, which is a good idea, then make sure you don't use the the uh, the livid dagger ability since it'll drain your mana. And make sure you have a little bit of mana, so you might want this on necrotic instead of uh, instead of ancient. Ancient's probably the best for like health and damage in general, but if you're doing that, it might speed it up by a little bit. I don't know. I don't have flower truth. Um, another great pet if you're having trouble surviving is the baby yeti pet. If you're having trouble surviving in the boss, you can make it switch to that, and it'll give you a bunch of defense, so it's definitely pretty helpful. The Baby Yeti pet's just a good pet in general, and I would definitely recommend you get it if you have the money and you have the use for it. Definitely just kill those with your sword, don't bow spam, it takes too long. And you see, you basically just back up in a corner against the Revenant boss, boss <laughs> and you just kill it, you just spam your Livid Dagger, as fast as you can. Um, I don't really use magic damage because I feel like it's kind of cheesy. And plus, getting mana outside of dungeons isn't the easiest thing to always do. And it's just more reliable to have a sword which doesn't rely on your mana for how much damage you do. Oh, we got Deformed Revenant. These are insane. I went from 15 to 53, so that's almost all of the combat XP. Which is really amazing. That's why you should save your, uh, your mini bosses. Got it, Revenant Champ, and see it's already spawned. So I definitely re recommend having a hotkey to your uh, power orb, and you can just hotkey to it, place it down, back up in a corner, and start killing, and it's already dead. So I've only got 44,000 XP left. Uh, I think I have the money to get to tier 7, actually. I'm tier 6. I know it's kind of strange that I'm making a video on how to get to tier 7 when I'm only tier 6, but I'm a pretty seasoned skyblock player do slash play time yeah, i've got about 760 hours in so i i know i know my way around um skyblock so definitely always go the crypt ghouls they're the best zombies they give you combat xp and yeah that's just about it i don't think i can think of anything else just try to survive don't die because then you just wasted 50,000 coins if you can't do tier four and grind up get like a reaper falchion or something to where you can do a tier 4. I've never needed a reaper falchion because I didn't ever have a problem with doing these so I just used my livid dagger because 
There's no reason to spend more money than you need to. So, yeah. I guess that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, like, sub, do all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.